Pitched in Merlot and rum bottles, in the hand of grafted chairs, to sit like a soloist rendition of Beethoven's first symphony heard by virgin ears. Virgin ears, which snake light away from the previous sought after physical sensations to the transcendental meditations with only a taste of Arkansas moonlight, reflecting off the ripple of the face, or the bats who jump in the pond as the frog sound of telling time reincarnates and gurgles upward, rhythmic in the pulsating water which catches the attention of fireflies who dance the dance pushed around by the breeze of the woodwind section to whom the beetles respond with a didgeridoo-like trance of Whoa! As somewhere beyond the tree line a pack of vultures silently consume the remnants of a doe who bled out from a buckshot of a drunken hunter who had no dog to track the beast. And within our vision, a red-tailed hawk releases a sound known only to those who listen. A sound of forbearance as it fights with a pack of crows over something that only the Lord knows. And yes, this is the contemplation.
cowboy crosses the black top to check his mail. And the last boxcar train passes with neon green bubbling letters between. Hope prevails for the guard arm blocking the train tracks lift. Yeah, so you don't want my boys then, yeah? 